So we're here tonight getting the last two windows ready. Sherry is here helping out. Say hi, Sherry. Today, I want to give another quick update on how the project's coming along. I'm really satisfied and pleased with the progress we've made so far. We're on target to be ready to start welcoming gluers to our space uh, Wednesday, June 2nd in the afternoon at 3 o'clock until about 5 or until people need to leave. Uh, and then we'll start up again at 6 and go until eight or whenever people need to leave. Uh, so there's two options on Wednesday and we'll see how far we get. We may add more times um, later once we see how progress is going. Um, but today I wanted to give you a quick update on the space um, and give you a, a real quick tour of room A3. Um, and just a side note, if the weather is um, permitting, we will be working outside this summer. We have um, permission to set up tables in a flat spot in the parking lot uh, near the entrance to the church, which is under roof. So last night, for example, we were working in the rain and it was just fine. Um, it also gives shade during the day um, and it allows for more air circulation and whatnot. It might be warm, so dress accordingly if you're coming in the afternoon or evening. Um, if it's really oppressive heat, we'll possibly move indoors, but only if people are comfortable working inside. Um, and obviously if you're vaccinated, that's a whole different story. So room A3, it's part of the church building that has been kind of a multi-purpose room for a long, long time. The art gallery received permission um, 2004, I think it was, to use this room as sort of overflow space for the gallery. And it has been part of a lot of gallery exhibitions over the years. It has not been used by uh, like a Sunday school class or an, as an office for over a year, thanks to the pandemic. And so we got permission to use it for the summer at least as a place to work from. Uh, it's very close to the main entrance to the church. So it's pretty handy and convenient to getting in and out and uh, keeping the supplies kind of all in one space. So I wanted to give you a quick tour what, what we're talking about here. I've been trying to bring things over little by little as we've, as we've been working on it. And what we've got in here now is a lot of windows. So you can see behind me, these are the four windows that are finished, uh, at least in terms of being primed and, and uh, scraped so that they're safe to work with. They are almost six feet tall and about 22 inches wide. And there's four of them that are pretty much identical. So they will be, um, the two sets of windows that we're designing for the sort of the left and right flanks of the sanctuary during ordinary time. So yesterday, uh, Sherry Boyce came and helped prime and, and scrape the last two windows. And we were discussing the, uh, the new scheme and I asked her to help me count how many different colors are on here because what we thought we should probably have is a system where the buckets of glass will be labeled with a number and it'll be sort of like paint by number except for obviously you're not painting you're picking up a piece of glass and gluing it into a, a space marked with that number so she counted up a bunch of different colors here and uh, i realized that my sketch didn't look like the proportions were exactly the same as the window so i took the whole thing home and redid uh, the scheme with uh, the numbers of the colors. So there's 10, according to this plan, there's 10 different colors of glass. I wanna set up 10 different buckets of glass all numbered, so it'd be relatively easy for people to just show up, sit down, grab a bucket. Uh, this is what we're aiming for. And is it upside down or is it right side up? It doesn't really matter. I think we're gonna probably do it like this. So here's a, Here's some of the glass. And it shows up in pieces like this, which I will need for one of the colors on our scheme labeled gold. The problem is these are not uh, suitable size. We want our glass to be 
more like this. I'll show you at the green table. We're gonna have buckets full of glass that's oddly cut and sort of randomly cut, but between an inch to an inch and a half to a half inch kind of sizes. So that means some of this glass needs to be cut a little bit until it's ready to be worked on. So that's what this tool is for. This is a snipper and it's relatively low tech. You just take this sort of like uh, spring loaded thing and stick it where you want to cut and squeeze down really tight. And I'll just be making triangles and polygons of all different kind of random sizes so that when the bucket that's labeled gold is ready for someone to work on, it's just a matter of reaching in there and placing the glass. It's helpful to do it into a box like this so that it catches some of the shards. It does not catch all the shards, so there will be glass on the floor. Uh, if you're gonna come and, and we end up uh, working inside, uh, no bare feet. You need to wear something on your feet to, to be safe. Now I'm wearing my gloves because I don't wanna get cut again. Last night I got cut because I reached in and stupidly hit the sharp corner of one of these things. I'm very thankful for all the donated glass, both uh, the recent donations, but also we had a lot of glass donated several years ago that I just hung on to. Another cool aspect of this project is bumping into people, chatting briefly about it, and finding resources that I had no idea I even needed. I probably would have used uh, an assortment of, of old boxes and bins and things, but I discovered uh, through some uh, folks here at church that there is a big stack of clear plastic tubs that I discovered were medical supply with sterilized equipment in them, sealed up, and then meant to be tossed in the trash. But uh, one of the families in the church decided these were too cool or too valuable to be thrown in the trash, so they saved hundreds of them and the church has a big stack of dozens of them, so I brought a bunch down. So what I'm hoping, in terms of organization, to have is at least one tub clearly labeled with the number that it corresponds to on the, on the plan um, for each color glass, and then some empty tubs, so that if there's more than one person working on one color glass at a time, there'll be some empty tubs. You could tip some of the chips into the tub so you have a good a good selection to work from and then uh, when you're done you can pour the glass back into the the main tub so that it's all together and doesn't get mixed up um, but now i want to show you uh, just a real quick um, sample of what it's going to look like when we are actually laying this glass on the windows so just for the sake of the demonstration let me assume that this window is already marked on the bottom in a Sharpie black line, indicating that an area of this window needs to be blue. So I've got my blue bucket of glass. I'm gonna take a piece of glass that fits into that area, take another piece of glass, and try to fit it next to that piece so that there's about an eighth of an inch to a sixteenth of an inch, like a, just a narrow little space for the grout to go. Now, obviously, I'm not gluing this glass right now. I'm just showing you kind of uh, real quick how the glass all lays out together. And I put it on the white table so you could see it better in the video. Um, and th these glass colors really read as very different. So 
um, there are going to be parts of different areas of the window that will that will uh, bring out those different hues. Uh, and you'll also probably notice that there were gaps. There were some, some pretty large areas where I didn't put a piece of glass um, because there's probably not a piece that fits that spot exactly. And rather than have a big uh, crack or big gap, what I'll probably do is take the snippers and take a piece that's almost the right size and just trim the corner off that's in the way or that's just messing up my design. I think the last time we worked on this, it might have taken about an hour um, maximum to do one window uh, pane area uh, between laying out the glass, getting it in the right place, gluing it in place, and then filling some of the cracks with uh, like special cutting, custom fitting uh, a piece to fit an area that uh, we couldn't find an exact piece in the bucket that was all ready to go. I hope we will see you on one of these Wednesday nights or afternoons. Uh, make sure that you let me know you're coming by email uh, so that um, I can make sure that we have enough uh, buckets of glass kind of prepared and ready to go, enough chairs or workstations. Um, but I think we're in good shape to, to make some progress and we have all summer so we don't have to rush. So. Thanks for watching and we'll maybe uh, see you on Wednesday. And if not, I'll take some uh, video of the folks who do show up on Wednesday so you can get a better idea of what the um, work area looks like, what it feels like. And then you maybe you wanna join us later this summer. Thanks, bye.